Hey there, paper geeks and glitter nerds, it's Anna the Crazy Geek Crafter, and this is part four of the My Wedding. We are, well, more than halfway, luckily. So, we need a uh, background for these mice to be on. And uh, this was intimidating. I have actually never made a full background with my alcohol markers. I am so fascinated by Sandy Allnock when she does it with her Copics, it's just, it's mesmerizing and she's so, so gifted. But I'm going to try my hand at this. I did practice a bit on the, uh, the surprise card with the, uh, the little Polaroids. I did practice a tiny bit. I got my grass technique in. Now I just have to scale it up like 10 times or something like that. So I'm picking up my colors. I need a brown combination that does not make the uh, groom disappear or the uh, or subtract from the other mice I need a brown that is different from the other mice um, and then I need a green for the grass and here's my uh, template <laughs> very crude but uh, it'll work for what I need um, and I'm just going to wing it <laughs>
Now how about that? It's not even half bad. I'm actually pretty proud that I pulled that off. <laughs> so now um, it's time to get everything in place. Everyone in place. And see if I can fill up this entire card front with all my elements. I had this idea that I was going to surround the, the dance floor with the uh, garlands of these uh, vellum leaves that I made. That'll be part one. So I need some poles for that and I pulled out a lawn fawn set that has these two poles. Very convenient. And I also pulled out the die to make the string if I needed it. Um, maybe that would have been a better choice or maybe I should have actually put the leaves on strings but this part is um, trial and error and the the error was not as great as it could have been because I uh, only glued down the bottom of these pillars so I actually I'm able to save the card because I actually don't like it with the uh, scaffolding after having uh, slept on it I figured out what to do about my mess I have put it in here, maybe you would like it for your card, find a better solution than I used. It was of course a lot of time I wasted, but I learned something new, that uh, you should try not to glue everything down at once, and I did manage that. I will use a piece of um, baking paper from the kitchen, but you can use any kind of paper to do, so to speak, the maneuver I did. Uh, to glue these down without gluing everything completely to the cart.
Now here's the parchment piece that I'm using to make sure I don't glue anything down that doesn't need to. I'm partially doing this uh, because I'm not sure if I'm going to need an element to be stuck uh, in behind these. And this was my luck in the end. Uh, since it, it does work, I just I found it too much. Um, and the idea is solid. I, I think maybe I'll use it for something else. Someday. You saw me marking off where I need the balloons to start and remove the bride and groom before I mess them up. And this is how I adhere all the balloons for this card to get them strings. Um, unfortunately, someone, that'd be me, that someone made a mistake and didn't record everything. Very annoying. Um, this was actually one of the reasons why I didn't like the uh, the beams around the uh, dance floor, that's the word, um, because it, it simply covered up too much of the, the, the glasses here, but um, that was where they were on the drawing, so that was where I put them when I made this, but like I said multiple times, I just am very happy I was not gluing everything down. And here's where I forget to press record again and loses half an hour of work. Everything is now stuck to the card, just about everything. So now I need to fold it in. You will notice that I've moved the presents, I moved the cake and the uh, there are two lady mice up in the corner eating some cherry. They had to be added because there was a uh, bald spot on the card. These balloons are also filling in some uh, some bald spot and so are these to illustrate that this scene goes on and on like this is a entire yard of uh, of mouse mice mouse party mice party I'm getting tired I'm sorry I'm rambling <laughs> yeah but more mice I need more mice for the party and these were not on the plants that's why in part one I said I make more mice than I need but I am actually going to need more than I thought I would so that's a good thing to have extra mice
not completely happy about the highlights on my balloons like I said uh, here I am uh, going in with the thick marker trying to dark or lighten them because it's a reverse it's a white pen here I take this the thinner pen and uh, drag out the points of the highlights I did wonder if I should give them mice highlight but I'm still not very comfortable with highlighting my images but the balloons really needed it I, I was quite aware of that one it is uh, time to start thinking about changing uh, parts let's move on to part 5 and get this card finished what do you say <laughs> 